Just four years ago, the local company of PT Pindad and the Turkish country of FNSS signed an agreement under which they would jointly develop to meet the potential requirements of the Indonesian Army a medium tank. This year, the first two prototypes have been completed and are being shown for the first time at Indo Defence 18. What is different about this vehicle is not a heavy tank. Main battle tanks can weigh 60 to 70 tonnes, but they are not deployable. And indeed, in some parts of the world, the bridges and the roads will not take their weight. So, this new medium tank has been developed, and it weighs just over 30 tonnes. It's got a three-person crew and a turret from CMI Defence, which is the 3105 series turret, which is already in production. That's armed with a 105 NATO gun fitted with a fume extractor, a thermal sleeve and muzzle brake and that can be fire a wide range of ammunition. It can fire armour piercing, fin sladeized, discarding sabo ammunition or HESH because its primary role will probably be not to take out enemy main battle tanks but to provide support for dismounted infantry and also to neutralise other armour personnel carriers and light armour vehicles. It's got a diesel engine developing over 700 horsepower cut to an automatic transmission which gives it a good turn of speed. Another feature of the vehicle is that it's got an auxiliary power unit so that enables all the key subsystems to be run with the main engine switched off. The 105 gun is coupled to a computerized fire control system which includes a commander's and gunner site and the commander's site is of the panoramic site for hunter-killer target engagements. And if we look at it now, we can actually see on the other right side of the turret is the gunner's stabilised sighting system and also fitted around the top of the turret in small batches of three are the laser warning devices. These alert the crew to incoming laser threats, which could be a laser-guided missile or a laser designator or something else and they crew would be able to take the appropriate action which could include trying to move to another position or to fire um, smoke grenade launchers to cover their withdrawal. Mounted on the left side is a 7.6 cow action machine gun. It was just recently called the, the, the medium tank but just before the show they officially named it the Haramu which in fact means white tiger. Uh, it's recently undertaken a 2,000 kilometer test in Java and after that, it carried out mobility and firing trials in another part of the country. And the firing trials included engaging stationary targets when it was stationary. And the final series of trials was engaging at moving targets when the platform was moving. And according to FNS, they hit the target. It's got a basic hull to which a pleak armour is fitted to give you a higher weight of survivability.